What's going on everyone, it's your favorite blue guy here. Not gonna pull any punches this time, World Wars bombed. Not only did it bomb, but it bombed hard. As the first standalone PvP based Hypixel game with its own lobby since Bed Wars, there were a lot of expectations from the community, and seeing that World Wars not only didn't meet those expectations, but missed the mark by a mile was surprising to say the least. World Wars, at its peak, is still getting surpassed in the player count by games like Murder Mystery and TNT games, both non-PvP style game modes. What happened with World Wars? Why does no one seem to care about it anymore? Could things have been different, and is World Wars fixable? Before I get into it, make sure to subscribe today if you haven't already. 5k is right around the corner and you could be a part of history. I'm also doing a rank giveaway on Hypixel that's lasting the entirety of summer. All you need to do to enter and possibly win yourself one is click that annotation in the top right corner. So for this topic, I'm gonna kind of go in a list based order. I'm gonna start with how we got here, then what's currently happening or happened that caused World Wars to fail, and then I'll end with what should be done to maybe fix it. So World Wars was first released as a prototype game mode back in March of this year. It's so new that you can go to the news page and it's there on page 1. It wasn't even 2 months later that World Wars was announced to be getting its own standalone lobby and becoming its own game mode. Even at the time, I was kinda skeptical about why this game mode got a release so early, but I decided to just roll with it and see what would happen. Yeah, it went about as bad as it could go. We're now in the dead middle of summer, the busiest time for the server, and the official forum section for World Wars has, you ready for this? 12 pages of threads since being released with threads on the second page going back an entire month. For a comparison, Bed Wars has 3,953 pages, Murder Mystery has 292, and even the prototype lobby section itself has 214. Not the most promising numbers for World Wars. So why did World Wars fail, unlike other game modes? Well, I want to start by making a bit of a comparison here. Similarly to World Wars, Bed Wars also got its start as a prototype game and eventually got moved to its own lobby and became standalone. Why did Bed Wars work and World Wars didn't? Well, unlike World Wars, Bed Wars underwent several changes since its introduction into PTL in January of 2017. Bed Wars didn't get its own lobby and standalone mode until that summer, June 29th, 2017 to be exact, a little over 7 months after its introduction. Bed Wars also has a lot of variety to its gameplay. Despite it technically being the same game every time, gameplay elements can be drastically different. You could choose to camp and go full defense. You could choose to be aggro and go full offense. You could choose to get buffs with diamonds and emeralds. You could choose not to. You could learn to TNT jump or fireball jump or choose not to learn it. There are a lot more that I can't think of at the moment, but Bed Wars gameplay, as much as it generally isn't my thing, has so much variety to it. It was that, combined with its long time in the prototype oven and its abundance of different modes and ways to play that made it worthy of being standalone. World Wars was absolutely not the case. Now, World Wars is fine as a game mode, there's nothing inherently wrong with it, but World Wars is actually the exact same game every single time. They do give you 4 kits, but these kits do very little to change the overall feeling of the game. Make no mistake, once you've played one game with each kit, you have experienced World Wars in its entirety. World Wars just should not have been rushed out so quickly as a standalone game. It clearly wasn't ready yet, and this is something I kinda brushed up on in my video about it when it first got released. Sure, World Wars had some updates in prototype, but the game went virtually unchanged from its intro to the full game. Out of the 5 prototype updates, only 2 contained any sort of new content, and even the patch after the full release contained no new content. No solo modes, no doubles modes, no neat unique dreamlike modes, it's the same game, every single time. That is not a good thing at all. It gets boring, and it gets boring really fast. I've also noticed it has a heavy lever issue, where if you're not with 3 other people in a call and they get the first round win, you'll likely be by yourself. Even a progression style to it isn't enough to get people hooked. The game's struggling with getting dedicated fans of it, and I don't blame anyone who doesn't want to main it. It's missing that urge to get you to come back to it. I don't feel any reason to revisit World Wars after playing a few games of it. Now, is World Wars unsavable? No, it isn't. No game is. In order for World Wars to make a comeback, it needs new content, not maps. It doesn't need new maps. It needs new modes. It needs new gameplay elements. It needs reasons to be played more than once. There's a lot of potential for something great here. It just needs to be worked on a lot more in order to find it. If Hypixel can find that something and make it happen, World Wars might never have to leave and join the dark hall of other potentially drained game modes. It still does have a chance, and I hope it's not too late. What about you guys? Do you guys think World Wars is unsavable? What do you think needs to happen in order for it to emerge from the depths and make an unprecedented comeback? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what your highest kill game in the past week was. Make sure to download my texture pack, link is in the description. Have a great afternoon, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace! Now listen up, here's the story 
about a little guy that lives in a blue world and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside